Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. And who do we have? We have Nendoroy 438 Kiryu and Satsuki. That's right, Satsuki-sama from the anime Kill La Kill. Yeah guys, I know, it's so long. I mean, I got this one a few months ago in the haul and she's only just now being unboxed. That's a serious issue for me because I love Kill La Kill and she's been waiting to go on my shelf. Um, But with just so many... Nendoroids I've gotten lately is she's just got lost in a shuffle but now I can happily say it's time to unbox her and to let's see check out all her poses so here we go here's the front of the box and as you can see it has her name Kiryu and Satsuki um, with her stern expression on the front of course and as usual with the Kill La Kill Nendoroids they have the writing across the front can you guys see excellent because it just totally fits the character also, you can see the out, the colors of the box really match the character. You have the white and the blue, which matches exactly with her outfit, if you can see through the box also. Uh, here we have the top of the box. This is a really cool pose with her sword out. I can't remember the name of her sword right now. I'm a really bad fan. Um, but yeah, she has a sword out. There she is. And here's the bottom, which is another great pose. I love the screaming expression. Here's from this side. You can see her with the sword out up top. Sorry. And from the bottom, another great pose, but we'll go over that once we get into the character more. Here she is from the top up here. It's looking extra stern again. That's like the one facial expression she has besides screaming. And, sorry guys, this one here. And finally we have the box, the back of the box with all her great cool poses. I really love this one here with her standing on the steps and I can't wait to pose her in that one. I think, I'm already thinking now that this is going to be the one that's on my shelf because it just looks so great on the box. Hopefully I can replicate that when I try putting her together, but we'll see. You know how these always go. Anyway, so back to the front. And as I mentioned in previous um, Kill la Kill Nendoroid unboxings, it's one of my favorite animes, all-time favorite animes. And Sasuke-sama is one of my favorite characters. I mean, I don't know how you can't like her. She's just, she's excellent. All right, here I am opening up the box. And right off the back, it's unusual because... I see a bit of plastic hanging here. Not sure what that is. If it is what I think it is. Um, there's something. It's a lot of extra tape on here. Yeah, I have to take the whole thing out. Um, but you can see from the inner edge that the inner insert is a uh, light blue to match the outside, and which totally fits the character. Um, Closing it up, sorry about that, um, you can see more of the red writing across the front screen panel and you see her number 438 in the back. And it's the same as the case with all the newer Nendoroids, the inside of the box is pretty Okay, simple. I apologize for that guys, um, as usual my battery died. Um, but here is the instructions for the figure, see that, pretty standard. Um, and as for what was taped all over the back of the insert, I forgot that this was included with the figure. Um, it's one of the signs, you know, like, um, as in, an, as in the anime, um, you know, as the words was displayed behind them. And I'm so glad Good Smile included this with it. I can't remember right now what this says because my Japanese is pretty poor. Um... But I will look that up later and maybe put it in, a, in the description box. But yeah, if you're familiar with the anime, you're familiar with all the red letter signs that pop up behind characters on the screen. And so it's really cool that the small company included this with the Nendoroid um, to make it fit more with So the here anime. we have Satsuki-sama. And as you can see... Um, already she only comes with one extra face plate. Um, well really she only has two expressions in the whole anime. And, um, a couple extra pairs of arms. Can you guys see that? Sorry. 
a couple extra pairs of arms. Um, her sword, where there was two, but one fell out. And um, the steps and a bottom piece. Okay, so let's get into that. First things first. Let's get into the base, which is almost like the typical Nendoroi base, but not. I mean, yes, we do have the Nendoroi extra neck joint, which is about to fall off. Yeah, um, we do have an arm for the back. Um, and as you can see, this one is very short for a Nendoroi bar. Very, very short. So. I foresee some difficulties with this one, as usual, right guys? And we have not one, but two bases. Hmm, I'm not used to seeing that in Nendoroi boxes, so I wonder how it will come into use, but we'll see. And as I mentioned, the sword, which is unsheathed, I can't remember the name of the sword right now. We have this base piece, which looks like a bottom of a ship, which is what is actually the roof of the school building she used to always stand on. And we have the steps that go along with it. We have this extra plastic piece, which is to hold the clear sign that came in the box on the back of the base. We have her bottom um, bent leg skirt piece. Usually that's just an extra leg they include. I'm surprised they included it with the bottom skirt. But I guess to flip the piece up at the bottom. We have her screaming faceplate. Like I said, her one and only extra expression in the whole anime. Her sword in its sheathed position. I love the, such cool detail on such a tiny sword. It's really cool. You see how it has the ties around it? Sorry guys. And a really tiny handle. Really cool, guys. Um, okay, and... Oops, sorry for shaking the camera. But we have extra bent arms for her, which is, you know, you usually see that a lot. And we have the extra straight arms. I'm not sure what these are for, but we'll figure this one out. And we have one extra hand which is to grip the sword. And here we have Satsuki herself. She is so cool, guys. Check this out. Yeah, look at that face, the expression. She's like ready to look like to break down the camera just for staring at her. Um, very cool detail on the uniform. You see it's like a metallic gold paint on it, on her shoulder areas. This is uh, Jungetsu, I believe, is the name of it. Well not when it's not transformed but you see more of the gold bronze etching whatever you want to call it around on the sides her straight arms and her cute white and blue boots and yeah you guys just didn't see her arm fall off pretend that didn't happen and of course she has the white barrette pieces or whatever they are her hair is a cool dark blue almost black color it's so cool they really kept into the detail and style with the character and you see her eyes, which is just, as I said earlier, like she's ready to kick a lot of ass. Sorry for the language. But yeah, really cool Nendoroid. Really cool. Already I'm glad to have her. She's adorable. Really adorable. One thing I just want to note real quick is besides her cool little, yeah, just like she's just always angry. But I noticed already that the pose that she came with in the box, this arm is really loose. Like, it just keeps dropping off. Uh, that's why it fell off before. You can see right here, you move it just a tiny bit, and it's very loose. See? Already off. So, I'm not sure if that's like that for everyone, or if I just got that defective arm. But, yeah. That's going to be one of the problems already. Let's see. Keep going. Okay, and here we have Satsuki-sama and all her stern glory. Um, I'm not quite sure what this pose is supposed to be of but it seems as if she's ready for battle it's cool she has the one arm kind of up close towards her face for some reason and as you can see her sword here is unsheathed and from this side profile she looks even cooler than front wise 
Um, I do want to show you though, I did have a little issue with, um, with the back bar um, because if you don't pose it just right, her hair will get in the way of it. Um, but it wasn't too difficult. But doesn't she look cool, especially like I said from this side profile. She looks so awesome. I'm not sure, like I said, what this pose is supposed to be of, but she looks cool no matter what. Okay. I have to say, guys, I'm just kind of disappointed right now. One of the coolest Nendoroids to be made, and this one has such posing issues. I have to say, she does look kind of cool right here, but I was going for this pose right here on the box. And trying to get her in that pose is just torture. Um, besides the loose arm issue on this side, um, the sword handle is a bit, see how the arm just dropped off? The sword handle is a bit loose in the grab hand. And as I mentioned earlier, the bar issue as well. So you see she just kind of droops off. Yeah, I'm so disappointed, guys, because that's a really cool pose and I love it. It's just, it's just torture, pure torture trying to get her in it um i actually got her to look cool for exactly two seconds before i pushed the play button and everything began falling apart yeah as you can see like i said i was going for this pose here and though she doesn't look too bad yeah i can't even get her to stand up especially with the way this bar is in the back her feet doesn't really touch the bottom of the base too well so she tips over often because she's kind of top heavy, as the case with um, most Nendoroids because of their big heads. Um, okay, two things I wanted to show you guys um, while I was changing poses. To change her faceplate, as we know, sorry I'm pulling her out of focus, um, is usually you pull from the front of the head and pull it forward. Um, which is still the same case here, but as you can see, the line comes all the way down through her hair. Um, which is unusual for all the Nendoroids I've had. So yeah, this one's kind of stiff also. I'm not sure why that is. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of stiff because of the hair issue. Sorry, she's so out of focus. <sighs> Whoa, so this is the entire front bang piece. And usually we're not used to seeing it so long on the sides. Usually we're like cut off between here. But I guess between her barrettes that they did it this way. So there's the front. And you pull the front face off from there. Which I didn't have to. Usually you don't have to take the head off um, on the newer ones. But because of the long hair it was giving me difficulties to do it that way. So there you go. Um, also I want to show you on the lower half. Um, normally it's one peg attaching it, but in this case it's three. See that? Three pegs. And no, this isn't a bootleg. I got this one from the Crunchyroll store, which is um, an official distributor for Good Small Company. So yeah, it is an official product, but it has three pegs um, to go under the breastplate area instead of the one. Okay, so on to posing. Next, we have Satsuki-sama here with her screaming face and her fighting pose. Um, I guess it's at a point where Ryuko has really made her mad and she really just wants to kill her. And as you can see, she's totally battle ready. I love her facial expression on this and the way she has the sword raised. Um, this pose actually wasn't too bad to put together, so I'm a little happier than I was with the last pose. But as you can see, she really looks fierce here really looks crazy like yeah she's just ready to go at it oh and I would love to see these two display in a fight scene together like with her and Ryuko I think that would be excellent and so far um well maybe because I had the difficulties with the other poses but I really love this one I'm contemplating keeping her in this pose here but yeah there she is isn't she cool and here we are coming to an end as Satsuki-sama ascends to the top of the school to look down on everyone as she normally does. And as I guess, guys, this is the coolest pose that was on the box. This, this is absolutely terrific. Um, sure, there was the difficulties, especially since, as you can see, it's using both bases. Um, one for her and one for the school platform. 
but it's just so worth it. Check this out as she ascends the stairs, sword out. Her face is as stern as ever, and she totally looks like the snob who is head of everything and totally looks down on everyone. And I have to say, I guess this is the one going on my shelf because it looks fantastic. And I can't wait to pose her with everyone else. Finally, our time with Lady Satsuki is at an end. Um, I finished up with this last pose, which though is not on the box, is of course suitable and definitely straight from the anime. Um, I have to say guys, overall, even though I was very disappointed with the way things went with this Nendoroi, I still really love her. She still has a great expression and I still don't regret getting her, even though... If she had been my first Nendoroid of my collection, she probably would have been my last. That's how frustrated I got um, posing her. Um, but again, like I said, I don't regret getting her. I'm still happy with her. And even though she has more issues posing her and with arm issues like um, as Ryuko did also from the Kill la Kill anime, um, I still do love this Nendoroid and I can't wait to see her on my shelf. Um... This pose I love the best, even though it's not quite viable as a pose for my shelf. Um, strictly because, as you can see, the sword is not really attached. It falls down quite easily. And trying to put the whole setup together is a bit of a pain, as with most of the other poses on that we tried so far. Um, but I will go for, I think the one of her going up the steps will be her display pose for my shelf. But that's it for now. Like I said, I overall, I do still love the Nendoroid, even despite all the issues I had with her. And I hope this unboxing didn't bore you too much. Thanks for watching. Bye.